Trey, first and foremost, busting that first big run. How nice was that for you after the tough start to the year? And then just in general, putting 200 up on the day and you guys getting a ground attack going as a team. Uh, it meant a lot. Uh, just taking the offensive line, the receivers, you know, blocking downfield because this whole bye week, that's what we emphasize the run. So, um, you know, it showed out on the field today. Going to Jared, um, you know, you've been playing hard all year. Finally got those first two sacks of the year. Was that like a monkey off your back? Did it like, like how did it feel to get those sacks? You know, for it definitely felt good. You know, I tried to hide my excitement. I didn't do too well. But, you know, I've been trying to fall into my role of being a civil servant, taking attention for the rest of my D-line. You know, everyone, they're doing a lot of max protect this year. We're getting a lot of double teams as a D-line, as a unit. But it felt good to finally, you know, get my plays, make some the best of it. But I'm okay with my role, whatever it takes, whatever it is. Uh, for, for Jared, Coach Norvell talked about some adversity in response to that in the second quarter specifically. I guess what kind of frustration was there in the second quarter? How do you feel like the defense responded in that moment? And then, I guess, coming out in the second half, the response to that response? I think the biggest frustration was with ourselves. So we knew it was nothing that they did that messed us up. Because if it was something they did, it was just game planning. That's all it takes. But it was just our internal self. I think with the offense scoring as quickly as they did, putting the big lead for us as quickly as they did, we got comfortable. And we kept saying, let's not get comfortable. But you could tell people were just by the demeanor of everybody. So that definitely got to us. But I think once we you know, kind of got under control, figured out who we were, it was OK. Then coming out, you know, the third quarter, that first Kickoff, that's kind of something that, you know, it gets under your skin. But we're like, no, we got, that's all they get. They don't get any more points for the rest of the day. Everyone was hoping on it. With, no matter what it takes, they're not getting anything else. Trey, was there just something special in the water for you today to come out and have this breakout game? Did you wake up feeling special? Or was there anything special that contributed to this day? Uh, yeah, my mom's birthday was yesterday. So, oh, birthday. you know, I told her I, I, told I was, I was going to give her my all today. So that, that's, that's, what, that's what it was. <laughs> Your roommate too, by the way. My roommate too. Yeah, yeah. I'm the roommate. Yeah. <laughs> Trey, it looked like on the last one, I thought the guy had an angle on you, or he thought he had an angle on you. Did you see him? Did oh, you yeah. ever think he had an angle on you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me walk you through. Okay, I got I had the ball, and I just see number green grass. I said, "Hold on, some somebody coming." So I look out the corner of my eye, and I seen him coming. So I was like, "Oh no, I'm, let me kick into the extra gear real quick." So I, I was going up field, but I felt him coming. So I just swear at the end a little bit and um I wonder how many I wonder how many miles per hour there was though. Six. If I can follow up real quick. Jared, what's it like? I mean I know you guys are so close and I know you haven't had the production you wanted, but he also hasn't had a ton of production yet. How much fun was it watching Trey run today? Oh my God. I'm running down the field. I had to stop myself from running on the field, not trying to get another penalty. Uh, that means so much. Like, I know how hard Trey works. We spent the whole summer together working all the fall, all the spring. Every time we get a chance, we're working out together. So to finally see all the hard work, you know, play, pay off. And not want, like, barely did he smile after a big play. He's like, all right, it's on to the next one. Let me get the next mm -hmm. one. So you just see that look in his eyes. It feeds you. Like, it gets you hyped up. Like, that meant so much to me. Like, it's almost like, like his success is my success. Like, that, that just made me smile. I love it. For Trey, you had a dominant night tonight on the ground, but um, you know, LT had a strong night too. Rodney had a strong night. I guess what was it like to see you know them get play a part in just the rushing effort kind of exploding for you guys? Uh, you know, these first couple of games have been tough. You know, uh, we've just been you know hearing that the running game ain't, it ain't been working good, and uh, this game we we really emphasized the run. Like in the run back room, we like we got we got to get it going today. Like we're not taking no for an answer. So that's really what it was today, and you know we just stayed positive throughout the whole thing and. It worked out well today. Um, Derek mentioned, you know, first 200 yard rusher in your game since Devlin Cook. What does that mean to be in the same breath as him? You're not Florida State, obviously. Uh, I, I actually talked to Devlin Cook two weeks ago. Uh, I actually just checked my phone and he, he texted me today, uh, telling me he's proud of me and stuff. He told me it was going to come. Um, he, I was, we, the, our conversation was about, like, really, basically, like, he, he, he's seen us, you know, struggling in the run game, but he just he told me to keep going, that it's going to hit. You know, he knows it's frustrating, but. You know, in this couple of games, we're going to get it together. So it, it means a lot being, you know, in that same category with him because he's elite. We're going to go over to Ira. Here in a second. Elite, huh? Elite. <laughs> I'm hungry. I can't talk. <laughs> Trey, when you guys played um, up at Boston College and got that lead, um, Coach Norvell felt you guys got comfortable maybe and lost your edge. 
this team made a little bit of comeback, but he felt like he didn't see the same thing. Did you feel like you guys lost any of your edge during that, that oh, time? Oh, yeah, we, we made we – made, we said that – we actually said that on the sideline. They were like, okay, yeah, we can't get comfortable because we know what happened last time we got comfortable. So we made sure that there wasn't a choice today. For for either one of y'all, Florida State's uh, five and zero for the first time since I think it's twenty fifteen. I know uh, that doesn't mean anything per se if you don't kind of build on it, but what does it mean? I mean, from where the program was, kind of helping build it back to maybe closer to where it where it has been historically. I think I can speak for everybody. You know, as a Florida State fan, as a player, as a community, when I say it means the world. You know, Florida State belongs on top. We're not some team that belongs in, like, the middle of the country or anything like that. We belong at the top echelon. We belong in the national championship. We belong in playoffs. We belong at the top. We Like, 5-0 is no surprise to us. It might be a surprise to other people. If you're a part of this community, it's not a surprise to you. You know, it means a lot, especially for the guys like, you know, Fabo or D'Lo, you know, these guys that went through the tough time of not, you know, being in this position that they're in now. You see the smile on their face after every win. I'm like, this means the world to them. And, you know, knowing Trey, the, it, the problems he had, you know, his past injury and everything like that, me, you know, being at a lower level school, you just, it means the world for us that we brought in this collection of people and we're doing everything we can. Every week we're getting better and better and we're just challenging each other, challenging ourselves every week to get better. Yeah, that's answer of the day, man. Write that down, man. <laughs> 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 that's like, yeah, man. <laughs>